Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ann Varis and A-Rise IBO. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to run your own PC scan. So, if you don't know the technical requirements that you need for A-Rise, I'm going to put the minimum requirements at the bottom of the video here. Now, I also am going to show you in the video how to check your computer to see what specs you have. So it's a simple process guys, we're going to go through showing you how to look up your specs like your processor, um, your RAM, your hard drive capacity, um, how to run your internet speed check so you know how much upload and how much download speed you have. And we're going to do all that here on this video today guys, it's going to be really simple, all you have to do is just follow along and from here on out, you will know that if your computer meets the Arise minimum requirement. Alright guys. Let's jump into it. Let's get started. All right, guys, go ahead and get this show on the road. On um, today's episode, like I said, I'm going to show you guys two ways how to check your system information. And then I'm also going to show you how to run your speed test so that you know how much download and upload speed you have with your network. Remember, Arise and its clients do not ask for very much, if not at all, really, um, upload and download speed. It's um, upload speed of one megabyte and download speed of at least three megabytes which guys to be quite honest is not very much at all so let's get this show started i'm going to show you the first way to go about it i'm going to go ahead and left click my windows here i'm going to click on run it's going to open up to the run program you're going to type in ms info 32 you're going to click ok and you're going to get this screen here here you're going to be able to see your processor which is very important so what processor do you have? And you're going to see what installs physical memory. So the RAM on your computer is. Uh, my computer is 12 gigabytes. So this doesn't actually show you a lot or as much as you actually need. So I like the second um, way to go about it better. So let's go ahead and show you that now. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here. The second way, you're going to go ahead and open up your folder here. You're going to left click this PC. You're going to come down to properties. And bam, you have system information right here. So here's a little more detail. I know that my processor is an AMD processor, six core processor, 3.5 gigahertz. So I know just by looking at this, that I exceed with this computer any of Rise clients. Remember, the minimum is one gigahertz. And if you work with an ASD client where you need an ASD to work that client, then you need at least 2.5 gigahertz. So this beats it. And so that's how I know here that just by looking at my system information that I can work any client to arise. Then again, I see that I have 12 gigs of RAM. So you can see that there. Um, here I see that I have Windows 10. So I know I have Windows 10 computer. And that's just about all the information you need, guys. Remember, um, the main thing to take away here is having enough gigahertz, so which is right here, and having enough RAM. All right, guys, now that we have checked the system information and we know what we're looking at, let's go ahead and close out of it, close out of the folder, and I'm going to show you guys how to check your hard drive space. Remember, you need at least 20 gigabytes of hard drive space to work any client. You're going to go ahead and open up your folder one more time. You're going to left-click the... It, for you, it would be local disk. For me, guys, I have two hard drives, so it, it's this uh, current disk here. I'm going to left-click it click properties, bring it here, and I can see I have um, 912 gigabytes of free space. This is a one terabyte hard drive, so that's why I have so much space on here. Um, and I do have two hard drives on the computer, which give me a little more space and makes the computer just a little bit faster. Um, so this is how you check how much uh, hard drive space you have. Remember, you need at least 20 gigs, guys. All right, and then the last thing would be the upload and download speed of my internet connection. All right, so let's go ahead and get into that now. Now I'm gonna show you guys the speed test. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click on here, pull up speedtest.net, okay? If you just type in on Google speedtest.net, you're gonna get to this page. You're gonna click the go right here. Let's go ahead and take our speed test.
All right, guys, and there you go. The speed test is done. So I have eight ping, and ping means reaction time. It means how fast the data is flowing. Then you're going to have your download speed, all right? And that's how fast you receive an item, so when you're downloading something. And then my upload speed, which is my sending time, how fast it means to send someone a file. I'm an example of that. So I have what you need to really um, uh, focus on here is your download. I have 90 Mbps and I have 18 Mbps. So 18 of upload and 90 of download. That is enough, obviously, for any Arise client. Now, guys, this is not very fast speed and I don't pay very much for our internet connection. Internet connection and data is pretty inexpensive to be quite honest. If you got yourself a plan that gave you, you know, between 20 and 50 Mbps here for your download speed, that will be more than fine. You'll never have any connection issues and you'll be able to work a client perfectly fine. Well, right guys, as always, I hope you found that information useful. If you have any questions on the video, leave it in the comments below, guys. If you want more information, check out our website, anbars.com. Follow us on social media, guys. We are everywhere. Give me a like on the video, smash that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Later.